Hello, welcome back to Lori's DIY Life. So, I am back to finish getting my planner back, my planner together anyway. So, I finished in the last video. I showed you where, and told you where I found the monthly calendar. I did all my weeklies. Um... And I've gone from January all the way through December 31st. I double-sided the weekly planners, not the monthly. So, um, and I got, I ordered these binder clips from Amazon and I, I wouldn't even really like to make sure they're the right ones, but. Usually, there you go. So you just gotta kinda pull them like that. And then they'll clip back together. Hopefully we won't be doing a lot of opening them and stuff, but and then I'm not real sure what size I'm going to use on them yet. So I did full sheets because I wanted my planner to be big enough to write plenty on. I got this for the weekly. Um, so the days, you know, there's plenty of room. And I wanted my cover to be a little bit bigger. So these are regular copy size. Let me check the size so I can give you that. It's eight and a half by 11. And then for my cover, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. And I'm thinking that I'm going to want to cut some of it. Well, maybe not because... Maybe not because... I want to put in dividers at each month. So I just, um, maybe we'll leave it there. So I want the divider somewhere between the eight and a half and I have these at nine and a half. So I'm going to do my dividers. And then height-wise, I got it to 12, so my dividers will be, let me get my paper trimmer, um, nine, nine inches, that's the other cover sheet, I'm just gonna do, like, Two at a time, I think. That's nine inches, and I want it straight. So matching it up at both sides. Oh. I didn't cut it all the way through. So let me, it didn't go all the way down to the 12. Line those back up, get them at the nine mark. Just to get that bit. But that's not quite on the mark. I think I got too many of this one. This is how many sheets? Three. So I only want to do two at a time. doesn't want to just do two. It wants me to grab three every time. So nine. Again. 
using a paper cutter just because I think it'll be quicker with this cardstock and doing this many sheets where a trimmer I'd have to do each one at a time. Still taking long enough. These papers are all nitwick and I hate using uh, basically the rest of the pack here, but I think I'll appreciate the planner enough that it'll end up being worth it. And then I think I'm still going to do the 11. So if this is 12, let me make sure this is 12 for sure. So I need to cut an inch off of this. An inch. That's going to be tough. You know, I never thought I could have done them half sheets because really it's just a tab. But let me... Get this at the one inch mark. I'm gonna bring the magnet down. That way I'm more sure of it staying in place, right? Oh, that was only one. No, that's two. Okay. Ooh, it still kind of slid a little bit, but hopefully that'll be all right. They don't have to be perfect. They're just the dividers, right? I'm hoping anyways. Yeah, they're close enough. does seem by the time I get down to the bottom here it's kind of slipping a little bit so what do you do with that I guess nothing really well, that's a difference in size I need the magnet farther at the bottom. I guess that wasn't lined up perfect either. This is the side I want. One inch. Line it up there. Okay. I should have checked time, made sure that that was the size I really wanted. But we'll find out because I'm thinking of maybe wanted it eight and a half. 
Let me see my pages. Yeah, I think that works. And then here's the covers. So that's gonna work perfect. Okay, now what I need to do, these ones can go in just regularly in the paper cutter. But for the cover, I gotta figure out, so we were looking at a one inch difference, right? So 11 and this is 12. So I need to take my paper cutter and I, I don't know if this thing is supposed to move a little bit. It doesn't look like it moves a little bit. But I gotta figure out about a half an inch extra up. So I got to ignore that by half an inch. Does that make sense? So what I need to do is get this in here and then measure, and I don't have, you know, I just don't know what I did with my ruler when I was, um, moving everything so this needs to come a little bit more this way okay that should be about right This is going to be very awkward. Okay. Just bite the bullet and go for it. And let's see how we did. Uh, still a little off. Darn it. Let's see. Okay, good enough. But I definitely could have gone up some more. But I'm going to be happy with this. Um, I can always trim it a little bit if I need to. I'll see if it bothers me or not. Okay, so now it's just a matter of layering everything in. So I need my January... All my January stuff. All the way up to February. That needs to be first. Then my February. All the way to March. So basically, I have this in order. Okay? It's already in order. But what I, what am I doing? I forgot what I was doing. I've got to punch my holes in these still. That's where I'm messing up. Okay. So I'm going to bring this in and this won't take too long because this machine is a working machine, let me tell you.
this will push through some paper. There we go. Okay. So now I gotta put my dividers in between my pages. And so one thing I do know is that I want the red to go over for an empty December, which is the last month. After that, I'm not too concerned where the rest goes. I'm just gonna get them in. And so December will go here. And then let me go backwards How about that. Then November. I use brown for Thanksgiving, huh? Then November, then um, October. I use a peach. It's sort of. Close to orange, the Halloween color, right? I'm looking for September. It seems like it's stuck here. September. I got quite a few of the blue, so I better start using them or I'm going to end up with blue everywhere. I mean, all together, you know, and I don't want that. I want them, I want them different colors. I want them to stand out. Okay, then August. And I'll do the peach again. Then I'll do... The blue again. And now I need June. So June. Let me see what all I've got here for color. It looks like I'm going to end up with a bunch of blues anyways. So these are all blues right here. I think that's my sister June's favorite color anyway, so good for her. <laughs> she gets the blue. April. March. Oh, I should have definitely had February. Okay, good. Because I didn't want the January because it's going to be right at the front anyways. So it didn't need the divider. So now I've got them. And I can line it all up. And they'll line up on the thing anyways. But I also want to put my bill organizer and I'm going to put that at the end so I have my bill organizer good that gives me just enough right now so there's my bill organizer so anything else I want I would have to make another organizer for so now I can get my my covers and I have to decide do I want the bigger side on the bottom or on the top I think I'll put the bigger on the bottom like this
big planner, right? Look at how thick it is. You know, it's it's going to be solid. Now I'm just going to get my binders. and have to see what size I want. I don't want the smaller one, I don't think. There's supposed to be three sizes. I think I'm going to take this one. I think the smaller one is not going to give me enough room. Or maybe it will. Let me see. Now I just got to get it all in the ring. Yeah, maybe it is good. Oh, these clips are not the best. These rings, I've had some that would just work fantastic. And this one just really wants to give me a hard time. Okay, there's one. Yeah, that works. I just ordered my rings from um, Amazon and they came overnight. So, I thought, yeah, that's, that's good. And it was three sizes, and I like that because now I have them to use on something else, or if I need to go to a bigger clip, I can go to a bigger clip, you know. So these, a couple of these are just stiffer than the others, is all. Maybe play with them before you go to put them on. Okay. So now our planner is together. And this is why I like these ones. Look, I can turn it over. And I've got plenty. It's easy to write. I don't have to worry about, you know... Um, anything blocking me being able to write, you know, when I come to do my bills, it's right there. I can fill it out. No problem. That's why I wanted to try the ring binders for this. But what I do want to do is I want to get a pocket because I know for sure that there's some things I want to keep. You know, I got a daily planner sheet. I got these that um were extra printed some are double-sided some are not double-sided but i want to keep those all of this so i need a pocket to put it in this is not going to give me a lot of space for that it's right there and see, I thought I gave myself plenty of room, but where my judgment was off, I guess, was the, um, I guess my judgment was off with the hole. So now I got to figure this out. Let's see. This is nine and a half. So if I do this at, I'm going to bring the paper trimmer out, to ten and a half, that gives me half an inch on each side, no, 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 because i got to count for this, but these sheets got to fit at eight and a half, so needs to come out I need those nine inches 
I need to go eight and three quarters, I guess. So eight and three quarters and a quarter and a half an inch and a half an inch, nine and three quarters. So this has to be cut at nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters long. Nine and three quarters goes to the, you know, I'm going to turn it this other way because if I can, I'll do it this way, this way. Nine and three quarters is going to be there. And then I'm going to figure out how big do I want my pocket to be. And I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to go five inches, so I need five and a half inches, and now I need to score uh, every half inch, so I keep pulling this up, but let me move some of this stuff out of the way. <sighs> okay. So, nine and three quarters makes me go to nine and a quarter. And score. This is that cinture pearl, and it's going to crack. I'm telling you right now, it's going to crack. Um, and then at, at nine and a quarter again, score that half inch. Did I stay on that line? I did this time. And then eight at five. Uh, I'm not doing well this morning with this, am I? Uh, I keep coming off. There we go. I have just messed my paper. Uh, my paper's going to have lines all over it. Good thing this is just for me, right? Okay, and I'm going to snip these little corners away. I don't usually do it curved like this. I don't know why I am this time. Uh. And get my own folder out and fold it up. Usually cracks really bad. Let's see how this is going to fit. So let me, I marked off my um, glass mat where the camera should be. So now let's see. Now the pages fit. Boy, they're just 
just fitting. I don't want it that tight. I need just a little bit more room with it. How did I do with the bone folder? I'm just going to try to make it a little bit. Not quite as tight, but I don't know what I did with the bone folder. It's under something here. I'm just kind of pushing back on the score line and trying to refold it. A little bit back. Just to give me that little bit more room. It won't be much, but just a little bit more, hopefully. Just did not want it to be that tight. Not quite that tight. So, let's see if it's still gonna be that tight. It should be just a little bit looser. It's still pretty tight. If I could find my bone folder. There it is. Okay, it's just going to get just a little bit looser, just a little bit. All I'm doing is pushing a little bit on that line, on my square line, just kind of moving it, trying to move it a little bit out and then going out with the score. And of course now it is definitely cracked and that's it's it's not that the pocket shrunk, it's that I'm not putting it I don't have the papers all lined up, but now there's a little bit more room. Not much, but a little bit. So I'm gonna glue this down. Oh, I wonder if I ruined this glue because it has not been covered. Okay, and I like, not this way, I like this bottom pocket up. So I'm going to put my glue, put my glue. Okay, so and as I go along, if I find that I'm using the pocket, I don't want pockets on my dividers right now because they're going to take away for my ability to write in it. It's not gonna lay flat anymore if I got all these humps and stuff from pockets. But when I'm done with January, then if I wanna add a pocket here, I can. Um, it won't be as big, obviously. I won't be able to add as big of a pocket, but um, I can add pockets and stuff that way. Um, another option, if this is short like this, you can always add your pocket sideways. So if I say, oh, I need some more of these sheets to be kept in here, they're letter size, I can make a side pocket and it can go underneath so that it's the whole side of the page, all right? I just wanted to mention that. That's why I'm only starting with this one pocket and um, if I'm going to decorate any of these, 
I'm going to use something with no dimension in it right now. I'm going to um, do like just, you know, stickers, something that's going to lay flat so it's not going to mess up my ability to write. As So when I come to January, if I say to myself, well, I'm in January, but say I'm working in my planner, I'm like, man, this is just plain. There's nothing to it, but I can come and decorate anything on this side. So when I get to February, and I say, man, you know, it's Valentine's, and I got nothing here to show for Valentine's, well, now I can decorate this side. Now I can decorate the calendar. Now I can, after I go through my weekly things, I want to decorate. I want to decorate the other side, you know. I can do that, but I want to leave this side flat. That's just how I am. That's what works for me. If it's different for you, then that's fine. Do what you want to do, what you need to do. But There we go. So my extra weekly planners are in here. The daily planner, if I should decide that I want to do it. I'll see once I glued it. And I think it just needs to get over that hump. There we go. So now I got this pocket and I can decorate here and I can decorate my cover um and let me see how long how is this it's not saying how long it's been going which is really odd okay it put me on landscape oh darn wonder why it did that It's been 37 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And I'll come back either later today or tomorrow. And we'll do some decorating and enhancing and whatever we decide we want to do. And you don't have to use cardstock. Look at here, I got two of them. I don't need two of them. I can take that out. I use cardstock because I just wanted plain colors, but you could use printed paper easy and then it won't be so thick. I like the cardstock because I like that to write on. I like that extra sturdy to write on for me. I just like being able to write nice and easy. So there we go. Um, and I'm going to decorate my rings too. The rings are here. This needs to be able to move. So I'm not going to put anything bulky on there. I am going to put some ribbon on. And hopefully it won't be bad. Well, I'll try it and we'll see how it works. Um, I just like to tie ribbon. But if it's going to mess me up. But it shouldn't because that's on this side, right? All right. Thanks for joining me. If you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. I hope everybody had a good and safe new year. If you like my channel, oh, I already said that, right? Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.